the little things that make us giants in our industry. We put in that extra mile of service so your car can go that extra mile of performance. Our aim is to make our stopovers feel like home. Giant Petroleum. Limitless Energy. Hello Zimbabwe, my name is DJ Ola7 Owen, we kwa madonto. Uh, welcome to yet another exciting episode of On The Spot, here on the Ola7, a podcast show. Uh, this program where we get to interact with all people from, I mean, with people from all walks of life, uh, you know, business moguls, uh, celebrities, soccer stars, politicians, everyone. We get to chat with them on this uh, platform. And tonight I'm talking to one of the most prominent stars we have in Zimbabwe. He's a musician. He's been going through a lot for the past few months or so. And he's here to share uh, a bit more, uh, to shed more light about what has been transpired in his life. His name is Takura Shonai, here on the Ola 7 podcast show. Takura Shonai, the Shona Prince. How are you, my guy? I'm good. I'm good. What's that you say? Uh, and I'm happy to be to be hosting you here on the on the Ola Seven uh, podcast show. You know, it's been a minute, and I've been seeing you just you know uh, posting some sad comments, uh, sad posts. I'm like, okay, what's uh, what's really happening uh, to this guy? And I was just wondering, and I'm glad to you know be interviewing you right now on this platform so that maybe we can you can shed more light on what has been you know transpiring in your life. So uh, before we get into into it, Uno Ziti Shona Shona Prince at Akura. Are you from a royal family or what? Um, I'm not from a royal family. Um, so name we got south. And then time and I south, they don't talk a stage name. Mm -hmm. uh, I was a bit younger. So because Nandu South and just seeing other tribes, the Rango Panda is you know, Shona Prince. Mm -hmm. So Easy that I'm now with Shan Sanda Tanga is Takura. Mm hmm. Funga, but the Tanga of Shan is that and people like it. So mm. That's how I started running with it. I see. And uh, you were born on um, 30 October 1988 in Masingo, Las Vegas. Pat Oh, wow. So can you take us through your, your upbringing? How was life like, you know, growing up? Life was normal. Um, I come from a family of seven. Mm -hmm. So it's five girls. And two boys. So in the Roma Shingo, Chigaraguro Dean, Roma Shingo, and then Tarazo Mover later on, Tarazo mm -hmm. Blawai. And that is seven. Grade seven? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so Blawai for a bit. Mm -hmm. My dad passed away. And yeah, that's part of it. Yeah. It kind of changed. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I understand you also went to Mutendi High. Is that so? Yes. Mutendi High. And uh, you know, are you also a member of ZCC? Yes. So, Yes. And then one day she's like, um, let me, let me um, ask you to come. Mm -hmm. Yes. And if you like it, then you know, if you don't, mm -hmm. so Naga Vanda and Semuna know that art, art, yes, Naga Sugan, they are fascinated when they, the way they sing, oh, uh, yeah, and the way they dance, and then go, ma, yeah, exactly. So, from that time, do Pandaka Tango Pinda ZCC. Mm. So, can you also dance, yeah, like uh, what they do with ZCC? Yeah, Titan Butamba, Titan Butamba, eh, Titan Am Gid. Wow, yeah. but you don't have a badge now, you know, I, I, no, no, and Japin is wrong. What else is here? Yeah. I was young, so uh -huh. I was saying, can I just get my uh -huh. own Exactly. When Bogas yeah. decided, oh, no, let me just do my own thing. Yeah. Oh, nice. Interesting. So, you know, uh, you moved to, to Blawayo at what age? Uh, grade six. 
When you're grade six? Yeah. You were staying... Going, going on grade seven. Okay, you were staying with, uh, with who? With uh, SNG. In Blawayo? With mom. Oh, with your mom? Yeah, yeah. Oh. So it was mom and dad and the whole family. Mm -hmm. In yeah. Blawayo? Yeah, in Blawayo, yes. Oh, great. So you once worked as a gardener, uh, as a garden boy in South Africa. What led you, I mean, uh, to this uh, situation, my brother? Um, so obviously, you know, Kanam Daraga Sheikh as you know, woman. Um, so when my dad died, I was move in the Kwagutu mm -hmm. um, for a cheaper life, I guess. Um, so when you go and go so and then Pandagashka form four, so you know, I'm going to go and 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 um, for a better life, mm -hmm. don't know how to cheat your beat. Yes, yeah. yes. So, you know, what, at what age, Pogas or does a Muri man? The Muri, as in, I know you, I understand you have a, you have a daughter, right? Yes, I, I do. Yeah, I do. How, how old then? Nangandine 27 or mm. 6. Yeah, mm. it was 2016. 2016. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. how? What's your relationship like? How is your relationship with your with your daughter? Um, it's it's you know I don't, I don't go to the UK and my wife. Mm -hmm. so me and her mom we split. Yeah. So it strains the relationship a bit mm. um, because talking on the phone is not the same. Yeah. True. I do go to see her most times. Mm -hmm. I see it can never be the same. Yes. With having her here. With mm. Me. Mm. Yeah. What what led to your split? Um, it was it was just you know go to the go and go click Yeah. <laughs> maybe yeah, maybe like, maybe because these days when people split, yeah. you hear about Mujolo, you hear yeah, about yeah. Uh, the other uh, partner cheating or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, could that could could that be the case in your you know? No no no, that wasn't it. So it was just me and the mother of my child not understanding each other. Yeah. But I always talk good about her because Munari, she's a great mom. Mm. And for the most part, she's always tried to continue a relationship with Yes. She always pushed, you know, mm. for me to have a relationship with her. Yes. Yeah. So, Takarango split all the ones with Seagull and Pamazuns with Seagull on other parts. But yeah, it was just a matter of not understanding it. Some, at some points. I, I, I get you. Yeah. So growing up, you describe yourself as, um, I mean, as a shy individual who found, you know, solace in music. Yeah. In an interview you did with an online publication called GQ, uh, you said, and I caught, yeah. you said, I was the quiet dude who used to sit at, um, at the back of the classroom and would only contribute when the teacher had asked me to. Yeah. I actually had a little radio that uh, my dad bought for me um, mm -hmm. from London and I would always listen to Zimbabwe's Radio 3 yeah. before it became Power FM, close court. So how did your early experience shape your identity and influence your journey into the world of music? So I believe that the people who are outside were more because why in Bawagatumbo they got a CD like they sounded like angels. Wow. They could sing. So, as a child, I loved music, but because in Dorongo, my mom's like, I'm better my teacher, mm -hmm. the headmaster. Yes. The music, I'm going to do it. Saka, and also my dad was named, I was named after my dad. Okay. Saka, I'm going to go to college, my degree. Yes. I'm going to go to college. Yeah. So, I'm going to go to college, I'm going to go to college. So, for the most part, I'm going to go to college. Mm -hmm. Even my family. Yeah. When I really started mm -hmm. doing it, mm -hmm. that I was this Munango Garari isolated. Uh, but I would always be in my own space mm -hmm. uh, listening to music. So, my day schools for most of my, my, my primary and high school. Mm -hmm. And then the last year of Form 4 and Doranda Gazunda of boarding, I always wanted to go to boarding. Yeah. So, boarding, manje, couldn't see an anima day because no way in a few hours, not so mm -hmm. but boarding, we got a mess. Yes. Yeah. So, the first day in the Scrap Am Tendi, a gang at Rawanda, and got down on sort of Amphis and Tanese, which is chichi. So, then I do dining, my first day in the Yara. And then Sharas went to my mind, they talked to one dinner, got a class. Vanuachi Jiga. 
Yeah, you want to sing, it sounds like Exactly, exactly. So as I was singing, one person, I got one, and they told the whole school. Wow. From that time, people used to come to class, and that's the first time, and I got fungo, so I actually have it, because before, they go fungo, they go to average, sort of. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. So when people started embracing that, I was like, ah, you're going to make it. Mm -hmm. From form, and I got tanga, and I got tanga, Pursue music. Mm. Yeah. Form four. Form four, yes. Yeah, that's way back. Yeah. So you said your father brought you a radio. So, how did, I mean, that exposure radio, um, you know, uh, and music genre at your age mm. impact your musical taste and aspirations? You know, poetic radio, uh -huh. uh, now I think as a kid, I just loved music. Mm -hmm. Yes. But just being someone who loves music, stayed up at Radio 3, like yes. Funyi say. Mm -hmm. But I think what inspires my sound, like Bon Bon Ngo, I said, I was like, I was like, I sister five. Four of them. Wow. So they grew up listening to Anna Joe Thomas, mm -hmm. the soulful music. Yes, yes. Yeah. And as a kid, you know, mm -hmm. you know, so that's the music I grew up listening to, soulful music. Mm -hmm. So that's what inspired most of the sound. That Even, yeah, the sound, yeah, I, I, I can tell it now. Yeah. This music is like, okay. Yeah. Oh, so, so shall we say you were inspired, let's say, by uh, Jotwans? Uh, it's just one of them, mm -hmm. but I can say the whole of like 90 soulful music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I Craig David, yes. and, uh, Whitney, all those guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. And uh, can you recall any specific moments or songs from the, you know, then Radio Three uh, that left a lasting impression on you and uh, perhaps inspired your your own um, musical endeavors? Okay, so I can say, if we're speaking local, mm -hmm. it was the whole Chamembe. Oh, yeah, the Chamembe group. Ooh, that group. It was, was amazing. amazing. Yes. So Rocky being the person that I loved so much mm -hmm. because Angari is someone that is very like flexible musically. Mm -hmm. I don't know about Oh yeah, okay, you know, yeah. Yeah. Nana XQ. Mm -hmm. Um all the like most local artists mm -hmm. I used to listen to them. And because that sometimes on my radio, yes. I watch time it up uh, Power FM. And I loved lyrics on the Nasikari there, David Fuse, <laughs> Dupit Summer Line, and Snowdwa. Yeah. And then I start like just rapping yes. and singing. Yes. You know, so yeah. And, uh, you know, radio has historically, you know, played a crucial role in uh, uh, shaping the music industry, yeah. uh, even in Zimbabwe. Yeah. yeah. And uh, how do you think uh, the digital edge has, uh, you know, changed the way artists uh, like yourself, uh, you know, connect? with audiences and develop their sound? Okay. Um, uh, what I would say is like, this is something I always say to Rafana Ongwa Nodashi Music Kuti. Tell me how much is it on social media. Yes. In the hands of the people who are I can record making mistakes and taking off. 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 I can I'm a one because it's not Duda, you know. Yeah. But when I get to Tuku, they've mm -hmm. influenced so many people. Yeah. They've been around Africa. Mm-hmm. Look south of Angola, I don't go to Angola, I don't go to Zimbabwe. They yes. talk about Tuku. Tuku. Passing on social media. Mm -hmm. So I feel like uh, like things have been made easier these days. Mm-hmm. And Kungo Tadza, Te Chingo Tadza, the platforms are there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, you can reach a wide audience. Yeah. Uri Mbamako. That's very true. Yeah. But do you think it's, a, it's that easy? It is, to, to, to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if you're really talented, it's only a matter of thinking of good ideas mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to market your stuff. Yes. Which is something I also used to struggle with, mm -hmm. where I can have a good song, yeah. but then I don't end up marketing it mm. properly. Yeah. And then some people will be like, ah, song, it's really good, but yeah. like, how did it not, mm -hmm. you know? Make it even to the international market? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I get you. Uh, Takura, can you take us back uh, to the beginning of uh, your music career? I, I mean, in Gweru 2013, mm -hmm. when you formed Soul Africa so with your best friend, Donald Mapolisa. Yeah. What inspired you to start making music together? Um, so the first thing was Donald was an amazing singer. Mm -hmm. He's one of the most beautiful voices I've ever heard. And he was a great person. 
Takato sanga home studio, Nana Tamuka, mm -hmm. DJ Tamuka. Oh, yeah. So when I came from SA in the end, it was on Stroma Notes. Yeah. And I thought to myself, with Zimbabwe, I must see my boy band. Mm -hmm. So I tried to walk down as one of Westlife. Yes. Um, boy exactly. Mm -hmm. So I then thought of an idea. Would let's start a group. Mm -hmm. You know, a boy band, just writing songs and making songs. Together. Yeah. And that's how it started. Mm. And our first song, Tagare Godana Oskid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kugweru. Kugweru, Chito Kugweru. Yes. Yeah. Oskid. Yeah. He came a long way, man, that guy. They said not Tamuga. Exactly. They really were. <laughs> so, you know, we've got um, Zinu, Gule Kwete, Newe, and uh, Paura. Oh. Uh, Pauri, you know, we're among the hit songs you, you released with uh, So Africa. Yeah. So, how did you experience this as part of... Um, so Africa shaped you as an artist and influenced your approach to making music. Um, I mean, they, they always say two is better than one. Mm. Yeah. And it was the first time also, and I got to, the was so much, he reads about mm -hmm. ZFM, my Valentine, I was like, oh, so I was new to it, guys. Yeah. So um, you learn from each other in a way. Yeah. Yeah. You know, collaborating with a, with a close friend can be both, you know, uh, rewarding and uh, challenging. At the That's same true. time. That's so true. what were some of the highlights and difficulties uh, you encountered while working with, um, I mean, alongside uh, Donald. You, Donald, yeah, in, in, in South Africa? I think the difficulty is, obviously, we're all different people. And we're creatives. Mm -hmm. My creative one are very emotional. Yeah. People who create stuff are always very sensitive. So sometimes it's hard with the... So that was one of the challenges I can say I faced. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, do you have like any memorable um, performances, you know, from your time uh, with So Africa? So So Africa and Dagatanga Nabdoni. So when I was coming to Harare, he had to Oh, yeah. So he had to stay behind. Mm -hmm. So Ndagashi is on a Titan, actually. Mm -hmm. And people don't know this, but. Titan Agans was you know, ah, Magaping, I'm Darawe Guara. There are not Din Guara. Exactly. But I told her mom's okay. Vandawe and Garanaiku waterfalls. Wow. Yeah, for some months. Mm -hmm. um, so Titan, I manage Cynthia Mari. Mom's uh, Cynthia Mari, I know. Amazing artist. Yes. So I manage Cynthia. This day she's quiet. I don't know why it's happening. No, I, I talk to her sometimes. Mm. So she left for the UK. Oh, I see. Yeah. Wow. She, that's where she lives now. Mm -hmm. But um, so I'm going to come Adrian Tate. Adrian mm -hmm. Tate, yes, I know. Him. Like, yeah. So here yeah, I'm both with the uh, I'm both open it. Um, Titan. Uh uh. Cynthia Mari. Cynthia Mari. Oh yeah. yeah. Very very gifted. Mm. The guitar and all the my keys. Yes. So that's when Titan gave an idea. That, why don't since Mama Tanga no why mm -hmm. don't you continue on Adrian? Exactly. And then from that time, that's when we started singing together. Mm -hmm. And in terms of memorable performances, I think unplugged. Mm. And plugged it, tanga. Yeah. Takapi omkano we in by when it was one of the first times. So mm, mm. It was amazing. How was the the response, the reaction from the fans? Uh, they love they love the music. Mm. You know, they love the music. Yeah. So you later moved to to Harare. What inspired you? Uh, what inspired that move? Harare. Yeah. Uh, it, like I said, Titan Diangans was some group. Vagat I'm in talent. We go. Say vagat osungu. I say so. Titan I didn't do we again. Tungo buy. Pass nari me diri diri po. Daga tungo buy. Fundi sa shton diti mari varugu diti chimbo mira we enda. Mhm. But daga ngo uya. I still just came. Yeah, uh, yeah. There was an opportunity. No fun on go deep on ground. Uh -huh. Yeah. So you mentioned uh, about working with uh, Adrian Tad, uh, yeah. Tate. And uh, remember, in, tw in 2016, uh, you parted ways with uh, Adrian and um, yeah. went different ways. Yeah. Uh, so transitioning from being part of the South Africa yeah. uh, to pursuing a solo career must be, you know, must have been a significant change. Right? Yeah. Uh, time, yo -yo. Yeah. So what valuable lessons do you, did you learn from your time in that group? And how have they influenced your approach um, to your solo work? Yeah, so what I will say, especially about that split, is that in your own room, I'm stubborn sometimes. Mm -hmm. And um, the nations in the national mind. Um, but there's a whole lot of other things that were happening. But what I learned is 
tukushanda muri more than two ga kuna tsuda ku tsisako kwa mfano solo ni marriage yes there's a lot of forgiveness there's a lot of like understanding that has to to happen mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. rather than kuti indana ka pina ifunga zvese ngori perfect kana muri pa same level of music you find the same thing yes yes you know so mm -hmm. that's what made me realize uh, decide to to do my own thing mm. yeah. no it makes sense so your solo ep it was tripped yeah. Uh, yeah, and uh, top yeah. national charts, yeah. and also the tricks like uh, Zino Irema, Obama. Yeah. You know, uh, can you share more about the inspiration behind the groundbreaking project and how it impacted your your career trajectory? Because yeah. I feel like uh, you made a stamp hip hop for sure. Yeah. So funny stories in 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 that box, South Africa. Most groups were split against you know what's so in the end of what it's gonna take me maybe two years or more to mm. to, to start Estakura. Yes. Um so I got some beats from a friend Anga Bakunem Kuma on the C O G and I made Zinoedema. So when I made Zinoedema, I was testing equipment. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, so Wakuma na it was seka, my friends ang one do one to Zimba Mangma Pats. Exactly. Why to say it a song you, you know, like a joke. Exactly. When I was with you, COG, I had a song. Boy. Eh. No, but I was on radio. I didn't mm -hmm. have access, so I just leaked it. Yeah. For some reason, I got to go to number one, and then the manager on Ganga announced by beat mm -hmm. at that time. Yeah. Uh, I'm the manager Rocky, so I got party. Let's shoot a video. Yeah. When the phone is an indicator, I wear but I shoot a video, and it was never the same. Wow. Yeah. Was that a change from that mm -hmm. moment? Yeah. So see you, Jaga. But I was just got to EP. Mm -hmm. Yes. Since this was a rutan gana, mm -hmm. um, I didn't even think I could do it. Also, because it was the first time doing that kind of sound. Mm. But then when I was far, you know. Exactly. You know, collaborations. You know, uh, seem to be an integral part of your artistic journey. Uh, Takura, you have a number of uh, hit collaborations. Why do you believe in? Um, why do you believe collaborations with the other artists is essential? And how do you approach these collaborations to, to ensure creativity uh, or creative synergy? Funny thing is, my people always say I don't collaborate enough. And I do believe that's true. I should have collaborated way more than mm. I have done. Mm. Um, but something that people may not understand sometimes about artists, mm -hmm. even when you go on, and you sort of like you make it easy, mm -hmm. look easy. But people just think when you're talented, that means you can jump on anything. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. sometimes it's mungu and I touch ka kan answer song. Yeah. So but I do believe with collaboration is always best because mm -hmm. you are tapping into an unusual thing. Oh yeah. So no vura and the pawno zo zita out. Exactly. So and it also exposes your um, diversity. So you are you are a diverse artist. Yeah. You you can do anything. You can versatile artist. So yeah. to say, yeah, Even to new market. Yes, you know, so. yes, yeah, yeah. You know, your sense of style has also caught the attention of uh, you know of many. Yeah. Um, could you tell us more about your approach to fashion and how it complements your music and visuals? Yeah. So my my approach to fashion is the same as to music. Mm -hmm. People ask me to write a music EP, and I feel like that limits me mm -hmm. because the way I work is ndinongo imba zanda piwa na mwari. So ndi katu buda pana ba watu ndi inspire ola. This kind of you know gospel song. Yes. And the kwani so ndi da but it's a season. You know. Can I ato buda? And if people think it's nice, mm -hmm. you know. So that's the same with clothes. I don't really like take too much time to do that. So if I see nice things yeah. and I want to put it together and mm -hmm. I think it's nice. That's what I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's interesting. Yeah. So uh, you know what? Apa makola bo waga ite panel ona ta abat igai na yaso chimanya ona na kirwa na yo apa makola bo waga ite ona yaso ta he was the best. And maybe imi ona ti ah he he taka ngo he tao but you know. Uh, 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 uh. So I think collaboration and you know yon farida dey nyasha David. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, Iko. Yeah, then there Iko. Yeah, then there Iko. Yeah, I, I really love that song mm -hmm. so much, and um, I was happy when I when I delivered the verse. Mm -hmm. And then song, yeah, and this now far and I song and I write na JP. 
So I got on the Dakarai. I'm mm -hmm. producer and piece of states. Oh, yes. JP. Yes, yes, yes. So the Arantim is on almost mm. three, four months. Yeah. It was so deep. And I'm going to but you know, the guy got three. This is not so easy. Yeah. Was so, you Yes. So Pandagas is like Pagas with a Pag song audio. Would you teach him the Vandaja and old Miras Ripo? But still, after that, I just felt like I didn't really do my best mm. on that song. Mm -hmm. And also maybe because I was doing a song near ne a giant. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like a big artist. Were you panicking or what? It's not panic, but it's like, like I was saying, good, my, my song, what you going to say, my song, you know, gonna, you know, gonna sabuti ta exactly. Unless it's a young song mm -hmm. where I started it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mang ma vibe, you know, roa, but you know, go to feel out. Ah, and then on your roa. Roa just changes. Yeah. <laughs> so, but how was the reception? Yaga receive was saying about that song, though you won't watch it out. Um, I think it was great. Some people have told me, mm -hmm. um, they liked the song. Mm -hmm. It wasn't on one of the like the famous ones. Oh yeah. Because the papa na ma song ano piece. Ipa apo. Yeah. So. People liked it. Mm -hmm. We really like what you yeah. did here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the reason why why you doubted this song was mm -hmm. it because maybe you were like ah, like you said, a giant. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, uh, was it your first time collaborating with him? Yes. With JP. Yes. Wow. Yes. But given a chance, let's say to do another song with Jar Prazer, uh -huh. uh, would you be in the same state that uh -huh. you were before? When you, were, when you record that song, record mm -hmm. that song, yeah. I don't think so, because sometimes, I don't know any any different song, mm -hmm. which I would just, you know, do something nice on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's also on my album. Mm. The song on Venezia. Yes. Yeah, and they have a song I said about my one. it's yet to come out. No, it's yet to come out. It's yet to come out, it's released. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. And, uh, you know, in 2018, you launched an 18-track, my guy, album yeah. in Harare. <laughs> how did you manage to do that? And how was the reception uh, by your fans? Um, most people run all Dama projects and we tanga so much. Mm -hmm. um, and I always say, I think it's a thing of hunger. Yes. Yeah, so when I made that album, I think we made it in a space of like almost two weeks. Mm -hmm. But my song anga garari power about three or four anga kato buda mama Yes. But it was an album and I got it so quickly mm -hmm. and without overthinking. Yes. And um, it was straight from here, from the heart. Yeah. So uh, till today, people still ask me, mm -hmm. can you do someone had to do it part two? Mm. You know. So and I always tell them, you know, you when I was in that zone. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But an 18 track album, my guy. Yeah. Uh, how long did you have to, you know, to compile that album? Uh, about about two weeks. Don't go to two weeks to a month. She's just an also mix and a master. Two weeks to a month. Yeah. Eighteen track. Yeah. Those are the four archo anga garari. Aribo. Yeah. But the rest, it was a time where I'll just make a song today. Hey. Make a song tomorrow. Uh -huh. My old friends would tell you that, and it was like even in that Shami oh, That's like a roller coaster. Like yeah. It was too fast. Yeah. Yeah. Would some take months? To release maybe two songs. But I've never done it now, after that. Oh, you see, no, well, it was just that time. It was just like spiritual at that time. <laughs> <laughs> it was different. What, what, what were you going through at that moment? Um, I, I, I wanted to launch my first album. Mm -hmm. So you know how everyone will always love the first album. The first album, yes. Yeah, so the Andine Shungu, the mm -hmm. Budisa EP, the area. Yeah. The Budisa Rimere Rudo, the mm -hmm. Trend, the Maimwana. Yes. So, that it only shows me my first album has to be the best. Mm, mm, yeah, I, I I get it. So last year, you know, when you released your new album, King of Hearts, yes. you got message from um, uh, celebrated international artist uh, Davido. Yes, he said, and I cut every record, fire, new fun, yeah. close cut. Yeah. So when Davido praised your album King of Hearts, calling every record fire and declaring himself a new fan, yeah. you know, did that make you feel as an artist? I mean, the whole time I've been in the game, I've waited for something like that. Because towards that album, then that grows doubt to mm -hmm. some extent, mm -hmm. where you just, you know, sometimes we, we want to be appreciated. Yes. And I'm not saying people never appreciated me, mm -hmm. but it's just when it comes from someone who's an international, like a world-known artist, yes. Yes. it's just different. Mm -hmm. drop album two days ago. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
And then midnight, I'm seeing an email. Yaganzi Davido texted you. Ah, nothing at the Zuzi can have a Kuru Vagada or a poster in Otombotanga email. So I have email in the Tasaku Insta. They go for a message in the other. Our tongue of an uncle, exactly. What are we exactly? That's what I'm saying. Prank, yeah. So no one down out in the year. I got on both stick and shut it. Eh, yeah, I'm going to send our message. So well, yo, when's the Guzi? Eh, well, like, where have you been? Eh, exactly, exactly. Um, Vandara and Danurara, so Pandagamu and Dupandagazo poster, Nduva Anzo was songing on the Rivera Dandina. At the time, I had a text up the whole day. I had a text up. Ah! I had a text up. And then that's when he heard a Rivera Dandina, a Rivera remix. He sung you? Yeah, a Rivera Dandina. Wow. So I was shocked. I didn't ask him. He <laughs> offered the egg. Hey! So it, it was, I thanked God so much. Yeah. So I was told him, I didn't ask him. At least when they will believe, you know, I, I have something. Yeah. So it was, it was really great. Yeah. So did you manage to then did, uh, do the, um, uh, the collab, the remix? It's, it's a surprise. Mm -hmm. It's a surprise. Really? Yeah. We can't wait. I won't say yes or no, but it's a surprise. We can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> Davido, yeah. okay. This is our boy, Takura, yeah. here on the All of Seven podcast show. And uh, can you share with us, you know, how important it is to receive such a recognition from an internationally celebrated artist on your career? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's, it's one of the greatest feelings. And you know what's funny? Song, actually, I can do one on Nayok. Yeah, I and I, I hear all these talkings and people are always like, ah, can I museum, can I do an international in Banish room? But that's not what it is. Exactly. Because this is a Tom Bones goes to me. So I know about but yeah. Yeah, we, we just sing along. Yeah. Yeah. So to me, it meant a lot. Mm -hmm. I want to cook. Yes. And then I just, I was overwhelmed. Mm. Thank you, God. Yeah. Because I'm someone who's very passionate yes. about what I do. Yes. I, I really like mm -hmm. strive to give the best. Wow. Yeah. You know what, Takura? In January, you announced about uh, you know quitting uh, music yeah. for the second time due to mental health reasons. Yes. Can you share with us the journey led to this decision? So there's a lot of things to that story. There's a lot of like issues when it comes to that. But the first time was me just getting to a point where it says on you know, I'm not. I feel like I'm in the same place. Mm -hmm. And the first time I got to start on Nanani Tweaks, and I would order the album. And what I was saying is, I'm going to drop the album and mm -hmm. take a break. Yes. Because sometimes I'm too passionate to talk to guys of Rambak Famba. Do you know what I'm saying? Of which I see more share anyone. Yeah. Maybe there's things I'm doing wrong. Mm. So when I dropped the album, and then Davido did that, I, I got that hope again. Yeah, and got yeah. motivation. Yeah. And then the album came out, but I couldn't do much for it, I couldn't do videos. Um, I, I just, I didn't push it as much as I would have loved to. Mm -hmm. And because we had January, February, that's yeah. when I was like, you know, I think maybe I really need to take a break mm -hmm. before I start hating my job. Yeah. Yeah. So taking a break yeah. was like a decision, decision you made after realizing maybe something is going wrong. Yeah. Musically. Yeah. Both musically and, and you know just in life. In general. life. Yeah. So let's talk. Let, let's start uh, with musically. Yeah. What was going wrong? Um, I think because I've worked for so long, I was just hoping at some point, because as calculator from 2013, it's 10 years mm -hmm. from South Africa, um, and I've always wanted to be recognized internationally. Congo to one song Yeah. You know so. The goal was always, first I get my people, next I go international. Yes, yes. So I know well, my artists, they don't care. As long as I want to be one of the first in Zim. Yes. So I want to go to the other two. I want to go to the other two, Australia, I want to go to the other two. I want to go to the other two. I want to in again in my newspaper before the show, to answer oh, yes. my questions. Mm -hmm. Press conference. Press conference. <coughs> yeah. So I'm going to go to the collab. 
he told me kuti you have to keep making the best music until muno au ya egg to say please i can did you masekela approached him he didn't go to you i got iwe chicha uri guridze yeah so it's it's things where i was like ah why person anything to it maybe i'm not good enough you know what i mean and also just other things that come with the job mental health and also the relationships I had lost oh, yeah. with some of the people I loved. Mm -hmm. um, so it was a lot of things weighing on me. Mm -hmm. And I just didn't know what to do at that time. I didn't know where to go. I was like, ah, maybe I can do music, do mm -hmm. something else. Yeah. And then I'll come back and I'm done and I sue us. So, yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, you, you mentioned about uh, you know, losing some people you love. Yeah. Who did you lose? A lot of people, you know, my, most of the, the, the friends that I love. Um, and I have to say this, the time I became famous, it's like you don't, you don't get a chance to learn this thing. Mm -hmm. And we were just on the road. Mm. And at some point, fame got to my head. Mm. At some point, it got to my head. And I, I don't know if any there's any artist in the world that not it never got to their head yeah people just handled it differently mm -hmm. and i handled it the worst mm. so i i became someone who was hard to work with you know and i would neglect my relationships and this is not just friends yeah i would neglect my relationships because i was obsessed with making it mm. I, once i make it now international yeah, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll fix anything exactly. guys exactly. you take that ball mm -hmm. Not realizing, Kuti, I need to actually take time to love mm. the people that love me. Yes. You understand? So, at that time, I didn't see it. Mm. Hey. And what's crazy to me is, I mm -hmm. was till 2017. Till 2017? I didn't drink, I didn't smoke. South Nairo Shandam Bar. But you never? Never. But fame much, I need to especially even my fan, uh, mm. and that's one of the things I know we're going to talk about. Yeah, I want to be an example and help them. Wow, Kuti, as long as soon as you get into this fame thing, it just feels like anything you do is normal. Mm -hmm. We're artists, you know, smoking weed, yeah, everyone does it. No, mm -hmm. yeah, but there's a lot of successful people who don't use that. Mm. You know, when you, when, you, when, you, when you mentioned about um, quitting music, yeah. lots of messages were just popping up yeah. on social media. Some saying, ah, I saw, so, oh, I quit sometimes, I looked at my drugs, you know. Yeah. Uh, you, you, I, I'm glad that you've mentioned it right now, yeah. that you were now involved in, in, in drug, you know. Yeah. So what led you to be... to get into that, you know, if you're about drug, apart, apart from fame? Um, so there's, there's, I think there's two ways to answer that question. Pandaka zutora bandanda excessive, like nanda kuzinita over. One of the things that I struggled with was the loss of the people I loved. Yeah. Actually, the loss of people that loved me, mm -hmm. that would do anything for me. Yeah. But I didn't see it. Mm -hmm. I didn't see any of that. My mind would always, I would do anything for music before I can do anything else. So I think that's also part of the reason why I ended up getting depressed. Mm -hmm. Because Unengo Uchi, there's a lot of issues that I hadn't accepted. Mm -hmm. And I was looking at other things that didn't have a problem. Mm. So I feel like I didn't know how to handle it and mm -hmm. I was still in denial, but it was a way to numb myself. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. So you, you lost relationships. Is, does this include like girlfriends? Everything, bro. So we friends. Yeah. Girlfriends, family, mm -hmm. everything. So these girlfriends were now complaining, no, you're not, give, you're not giving me attention? It's always the case because the truth is I would put music first before mm. anything. Yeah. I would put music first. Mm -hmm. 
So in those ones, don't even spending time with people. I wouldn't do that. I'm always in the studio. She would meet her guys. I have a reason. But I saw all now. I would change. Still on the drug issue, uh, Takura. Yeah. Would you say there is someone who influenced you mm. to get into this drug uh, drug thing, or you just said, okay, from today, mm. I'm going to take drugs. I could indeed have influence or Andrew Munkura as it. But you know how you start with your friends and then you can go try as you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But Chagas and the Chogus and I as When I became an artist, and this is the problem with the industry, mm. and it's not everyone. Okay, I didn't know from what my artist is. Yeah. Um, but when you become an artist, certain things just seem like they, they are normal. Because most artists, they get into that. Mm -hmm. But most artists do it. Mm. Some handle it well, and yeah. they can do it throughout their career. Mm -hmm. But people like me, I couldn't. Taking drugs. Mm -hmm. But so I can't say I was influenced, but it, it was a thing I just did because of course you know more, and you just get into yeah. that thing, and then you know. In, in in your own opinion, do you think those who uh, take drugs, uh, I mean those artists who take drugs, yeah, um, but is a way of to get so power or energy or yeah, you know, a vibe. Because I've been in the studio, I know my new lyrics, it ain't change, you know, you that. You know, I guess speaking for myself. Mm -hmm. I actually used to think maybe stuff like that mm -hmm. would, would make me better or make me confident yes, or whatever. Yes. But in actual fact, it was doing the, the, mm -hmm. the opposite of that. Yeah. But when I told us, yeah, I'm an artist, I'm an artist, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a Anytime there's an artist, mm -hmm. people can, I'm not going to say, say, I'm an artist, I'm an artist, I'm an artist, Yeah. It's part of their culture, mm -hmm. you know. Mm, I get you. Yeah, I get you. So, was there a specific moment or even, I mean, or event uh -huh. uh, that made you realize that you needed to change? Say, um, mm -hmm. no, I have to change here. Can you describe that turning point for us? I've had many turning points, but never got through it. Mm. Like I said, I was in denial. I'm on sort of certain things. It's hard for you to get help. Yeah. The first thing you learn is acceptance. But one of the most major situations that made me want to change my life is rehab. Mm -hmm. And I just want to say, I want to thank my manager, Mike. Mm -hmm. I know Mike Rich, follow by Insta. Mike Rich. Mike Rich. Let's follow Mike. He's very rich also. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he's been my manager since 2018. Yeah. And Munoyo Fry Beans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To a point where I just thought to myself, even Dumuria, but he probably has people who go to the Kumbo Fide. Exactly. But then he just keeps doing it as if he sees something in me that mm. I don't see. Mm. Mm. So even him deciding to take me to rehab yeah. and paying for the rehab throughout mm. and saying, I was going to bus, you need to heal. Yeah. To me, it was. Something I, I just I've never seen anyone like that in my mm -hmm. life. So he's someone I can't on the bad side. I can't put chance, and I said to him, you know, this is the last time. Mm -hmm. He didn't say it. I said this is the last time. Yeah. For you to to come in, to be coming to my aid. Mm -hmm. Now I need to prove to the people why you are not going Why you're doing this? Because yes. there's, there's a reason. Mm -hmm. Even though I might not know it then. Mm -hmm. So if you want to thank anybody for me. Continuing with music, it mm -hmm. can only be Mike, yeah. God, and Mike. Mm -hmm. So that experience, you could rehab. Wow. So, Paul, in that rehab, when you get time, you get to see it again. Which you get from drugs. From 2017. 2017, 2018, 2019, 20, 21, 22, some seasons, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that was that was too much, yeah. And, um, you know, wh what was your experience like, you know, uh, in, in, in rehab? Yeah, I want to understand that. Uh, were there any challenges or significant moments that stood out to you? Um, there were challenges because you know, 
you have to understand when you go to rehab, mm -hmm. uno, uno toro a phone, you can't have a laptop, mm -hmm. you can't leave the house. Mm -hmm. So, semuna nga garagu achi jaira life yake and controlling my life, it was difficult. Because yes. the last time I felt like that was in high school. Mm -hmm. But it was the first week and the second week mm -hmm. where I had not accepted and realize that this is actually another chance for me. Hmm. First week, I had a lot I can't do this. But I, I, I pulled through. So it was just difficult the first two weeks because I hadn't accepted. Mm. I was still not mm -hmm. to do it. I'm a skinny person, but I was a young boss for three weeks. I said, mm -hmm. You look alive now. Yes. I should park and the end is an under Buddha Mabond, of which Munagara won't have an hour. Exactly. I mean, no gosh, but in that old dribble. But I'm you. Yes. My guy. That old dribble. Yeah, that was, that was just serious. Yeah. That was serious. So you, you, you stayed in rehab for how long? Five weeks. Five weeks there? Five straight weeks. No phone, no nothing. But it changed your life. Completely. I wish I had done it way back in life and maybe I wouldn't have I, done I, I heard that it was, it had gotten to a point where it was like, you know, suicidal. Yeah. You were like suicidal. Yes. What was happening that time? I just, I didn't know where to turn to. Hmm. Like I'm saying, I, I hadn't accepted certain things. So I just couldn't even figure out the problem. Mm -hmm. And I felt like maybe I'm not good enough. Mm -hmm. I even got the Davido cosign. Yes. I thought it would change everything, but yeah. maybe I'm, I'm, I'm done, mm -hmm. you know? I've lost people I love. Mm -hmm. What's the point? Yeah, that was, uh, that was tough. Yeah. So how important was your support system? Let's say friends, family, mm -hmm. you know, any challenges, uh, so even support your IPO, anyone, the yeah. rehab staff as well, yeah. you know, uh, in your journey towards recovery? Uh, it was amazing. So I know a lot of people a different like mindset when it comes to rehab. Mm. Mm -hmm. BHH. Borodel Halfway House. Mm -hmm. And when I first got there, one of the guys said, This is Borodel Halfway House. Mm -hmm. It's either halfway to hell <laughs> or halfway to heaven. Okay, that's what it means. You decide. Yeah. And it got to me. Um, but it was amazing because in rehab, what happens is mm -hmm. we wake up early, total my observations, my BP, yes. Tojiga porridge, mm -hmm. na eight straight on the devotion. Yeah. Everybody sits in the lounge, you say how you slept, are you mm -hmm. good, you know, and stuff like that. Yeah. If you're new, introduce yourself. Yes. activity. Yes. Can music. And does music also um karan my sports. Yeah. And all the like thing, I don't know, yeah, yeah, all these activities, they are. Mm -hmm. And then we have sessions with my therapist, mm -hmm. psychologist, you know. And I got to 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 open up and discuss the issues that I had struggled with. Mm -hmm. And I was shocked by how now, when I looked at those videos I posted, I was yes, like, Damn. yes, and that's what about a point, a point is. yeah. So it, it was amazing, mm. you know, and the staff was amazing. Mm -hmm. Mr. Dr. Chirisa, Mr. Manise, mm -hmm. they really like took care of me. Yes. Yeah. Yes. A therapist Huggins, psychologist mm -hmm. Melissa. So yeah. You know, th there is Takura, a celebrity, you know, a well-known artist in Zimbabwe, in rehab. Probably in rehab, there are people who recognize or who rec recognize Takura. Yeah. To, oh, this is Takura. Yeah. You know, how did they treat you? They treated me very well. Um, and you see, you know, I can amend out the air. She says, there's no sarap again. Could you celebrity and whatnot? Aye. She said, it's so good. It's my patience. Those statements right out. It's my patience. Yeah, it's my patience. Exactly. Um, to rap. Yeah. 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 But, but there was nothing wrong with anything. Mm -hmm. It was comfortable. You know, when people were uh, going to eat drugs and whatnot, there yeah. was a stigma. Mm -hmm. I want to touch on challenge. Um, how are you going to navigate through this? Like so, the issue of uh, stigma, stigmatization. 
Okay, so first of all, I, I don't really care about that because I then thought I had a lot of time rehab. You know, like I said, I want a phone. Mm -hmm. Actually, you have a lot of time to think. And I, I started to think, Mike came to, to see me and he said, you see these gifts, people who are gifted, like you and me, mm -hmm. we are given these gifts by God to help people. Yes, yeah, true. But I hadn't thought about it that way. Mm -hmm. For me, it was just me wanting what I want. Mm -hmm. So I started to think, going back to the Kafungot, I've never really used my influence, besides making music, mm -hmm. I haven't used my influence for positive things. Yes. As artists, not on Boimba, Jokita, my dogs, my song, yeah. mm -hmm. and they are fun hour, they look up to us. Yeah, true. Situation in my drugs is a lot of kids are taking drugs. Yeah. Big time. It's a pandemic. Right. Do now. you think it's something that's going to end anytime soon? I mean, in any, I plan to advocate for no drugs. Mm. That's what I said to God. I said, God, wow. give me another chance. This yeah. is what I will do. We shall not influence young for better because yes. I have so many people that look up to me. Yeah, very, very true. And if they see me drinking, mm -hmm. they'll think ah, you know, it's cool mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for us to take it. Same way, and I got to turn my mind. Yes, yes. So I, the stigma, I, I don't even care. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm happy that I'm alive. I've been sober for 38 days. Mm. 38 days? Yes. So, but I want to tell you now that you are a CMA, I won't go to Zogere, so I can go to Bichana. So, how do you manage triggers or challenges that could, you know, potentially lead uh, to, re, uh, to, to relapse? You know, the funny thing is we learn about all these things in rehab. Well, not score or chase. And I got to end up with score. You have sessions where we talk about, like the last one of the few last sessions where we were being taught mm -hmm. how to resist. Yes. And to deal with triggers and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, so far I haven't had any triggers mm -hmm. because I have felt like in Danda Kutofa and I got another chance. Yes. So, Kutongo Funga Nezhao, Kunoto Nichikisa at this point. Mm. And also, there's projects I'm going to be working on that yeah. keep me busy mm -hmm. than before where I always had time. Yeah. So you end up, you know, walk bata bata. Talk wanda wanda. Yeah. So what advice would you give to someone who is uh, currently struggling with addiction or thinking about, you know, seeking help? What I will say to you is if you're in that space, you're definitely thinking there's nothing wrong. I have problems. People don't understand. You're, every day you're telling yourself you're going to stop. Literally every day. But you will never stop. And if your family member comes to you and says that, mm -hmm. yeah. but now I'm like, thanking God every day mm. for that man. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. So yes. It's, it's something to also I want to say to parents and stuff, rehab mm -hmm. before I think I should post one of the before pictures. Yes. Now you want a video the other night and you got it. Yeah. So parents need to 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 take their kids to mm -hmm. Korea. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because moon we sent to buy mo man to buy kakawanda ka aguto tenda. Kuti ima kaja bas man batsira. Yeah. Yeah, pas na ya dey ria bon no to parara like you know. So yeah. what are your hopes and uh, goals for the future? For the future, I, like I said, I want to advocate for, for no drugs. Mm -hmm. um, I want to, to, to be more in touch with the community. I was never like that. I used mm -hmm. to isolate myself. Yeah. You know, um, so now I want to be involved more in the community mm -hmm. and do a lot of projects that help people using God's gift. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not so, just singing. The most important question mm -hmm. everyone wants to hear mm -hmm. is Takura coming back to the music scene, or Takura Akato Kwita Shumashu? I think people will know next week mm -hmm. the decision I'm going to take. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Next Definitely week. next week, I'll mm -hmm. let you guys know. Right? Yeah. Kuti mkuma naari mo hirere mkuma na ambo. Yeah, yeah. But is he in or is he out? Is he out, yeah. Yeah. You know, you know, you posted a, a, a picture on Instagram. You say back from the rehab. I, I, I saw, I yeah. saw a satchel on on yeah. a chair, something yeah, like yeah. that. Was it like a studio? That's my studio. That's yeah. a studio. I, I, I saw, uh, you know, <laughs> a satchel. 
What was the meaning? What, what, what was like? Okay, what were you trying to say? Then I don't go studio. I still forgot. I had missed my house. I yes. missed my studio. So I go to studio. Say to all the I don't go to school. I rip up. Yeah. Did a laptop. But I've been saying to people when I went to rehab, I wasn't in rehab. Mm -hmm. I, I went to school. Wow. I went to learn mm -hmm. about life. Yeah. And change everything mm -hmm. that I thought I knew. Mm. Yeah. So uh, looking back at your journey, yes. what would you give or what advice would you give to, to your young, younger self? Yeah. You know, knowing that or what you, are, what you know now about the music industry and life in general? I would say always be humble. Mm -hmm. um, humility is very important. I used to, you know, do a lot sometimes. Mm. Um, you know, you're a kid, no one, my friends, I was a no one. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when you make it, mm -hmm. now you're like, oh, Aunt Mom. Exactly. You know, so it's, it's like, like I said, I didn't see all those problems. Mm -hmm. But people still loved me. Yeah. I don't know anyone who could have been loved for that long mm -hmm. doing that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why I'm saying it will be impossible for me to ever go to drugs again. Very true. Because I've learned a lot of things, not just not taking drugs, mm -hmm. but about life itself that's so profound yeah so what legacy do you hope to leave behind you know how do you want to be remembered by your fans and the music industry when you eventually retire or pass i want to rem to be remembered as someone who made music to help other people heal that's for me when i make it that's what i'll be doing to myself mm. i'll be talking about issues that are hard for me to think about and a lot of people have sent me fan mail. Oh, you saved my life. Oh. So to me, I want to help people heal through music. I want to help people in different ways. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, going into communities and using my gift mm -hmm. for other people, not myself. Yeah, that's very powerful. So um, let's talk about giving back. Yeah. Are you involved in any activities or groups that allow you to give back to others, you know, going through similar struggles? Um, not yet. But I'm hoping anyone out uh, there, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to work with people mm -hmm. who have been in that business and help the communities. Because this is why I'm saying good my drugs, and especially my Kumba. Kumba, yes. know, and that's how people get into drugs. Yes. And then they get hooked. You know, I wish for us to have more things mm. happening. I find out we'll get to one on a talent, but they don't have any way to, mm -hmm. you know, to express those things. So what uh, brings you joy and fulfillment, you know, that you're on this new path? Um, one of the things I learned from rehab is helping someone else besides yourself, not being selfish, mm. would actually make you feel much, much better. Yeah. Just doing good for someone else, mm -hmm. not just doing things for myself like I used to do. Mm -hmm. So it's something that I even learned to rehab and mm -hmm. exercising these things and doing it and realizing oh, it's actually, <clears throat> it's actually true. I've had, I've been living my life backwards, mm. you know, so it gives me joy. And to also know that there's people that, like Mike, mm -hmm. that still helps yeah. when they don't need to. Mm -hmm. And he believes in the brand, Takura. Yeah. He believes the brand. He does. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, uh, you know, um, I want to understand what bothers you the most and what are you afraid of? What am I afraid of? Um, I think one of the things I'm afraid of is my daughter mm -hmm. growing up and realizing that she didn't live with me mm -hmm. for five years even though I go I used to go like every year yeah. before COVID mm -hmm. um, but it's not the same so it's something that bothers me with him and I don't know and feel like I didn't love her mm -hmm. um, but that's not what it is it's just music is something I it's, it's, that's all I know mm -hmm. and I've always told God that this has to change my life mm -hmm. I have to become rich and be able to to say to my daughter come this weekend Come next next weekend, mm -hmm. anytime, buy a ticket. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it bothers me sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. But are, are you, are you co-parenting? Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I understand. And, you know, it's just 
painful to be here and your, your daughter is abroad, yeah. miles away from you. Yes. I, I, I do understand. So, uh, Takura, as we, as we wrap up, yeah. um, what are your parting remarks, you know? Um, the first thing I want to say is, you know, we're, we're, we're people with a lot of people that love us. And sometimes, those people continue to support us, but <laughs> so what I will say, one of the things that I learned is value the people that love you. Give them time. studio, Spending time with people, you know, showing them that you love them. Because mm -hmm. Like Mike, he's never asked me for anything mm. his whole life. Literally nothing. nothing. Mm. But he's done everything for me. Yeah. So value the people that love you. And when they take you to these places, Anna Rehab, mm -hmm. that's true love. Yeah. Because come about that. It's not Lots of money. Yeah. But they spend their money. Yeah. Say no 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 no. Let's just correct this yes. mistake. Yes. That's powerful. It's crazy. I'm talking here to uh, my brother Takura Shonai, the Shona Prince, on the Ola 7 podcast show. What a moment, what a show. You know, guys, I'm sure it's, a, it's been like an eye-opener. Uh, did you know that Takura was going through all this, you know, the past years and months? And let's we judge people from a distance. We just judge, ah, this is that, yeah, this and that. But people are going through the most yeah. out there. And at one point, I understood that you got arrested in town. You know, you, yeah. could, you know what happened? Ah, how come I don't go to Iwe? Two weeks. Hmm. Because it's in ah, no, it's in Dizo. It's in Dizo. Man, you walk and you walk, it has so much. Hey. So Tony, you only roll more day. Exactly. You know, so it was also a lesson to me. Mm -hmm. Um, like I said, I, I I feel like I got another chance. Yeah. And. It's probably my last chance, mm -hmm. and I will do everything yeah. to make things right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you so much, Takura, for coming. Thank you for I having me. I really appreciate. Yeah. That is Takura Shonai, my brother here on the All of Seven Podcast Show. But he said, wait until next week. He's going to decide. He's going to tell us next whether week. he's going to bounce back <laughs> the music scene or yeah. not. But we're here to see what's going to come. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Until you next time, my name is DJ Ola 7 Owen Owe Kwa Madondo, the Chief Air Marshal. So before I just, before I, before I say goodbye, I just want to appreciate and say thank you so much to our team from P Hearts Art and Craft. They just, you know, uh, brought us this nice couch. Mm. It's, a, it's a nice couch, by the way, right? Yeah, very comfortable. You love it? I, I, I love it. We'll do that one. Gotta be exactly. I'll talk, to, I'll talk to them. Guys, mm. P Hearts. Takura, Abra, nice, nice. So uh, it's on me. I'll make sure that you, get, you, you. you have this one. Uh, let me tell you something interesting about these chairs. Mm -hmm. Would you believe could this chair and this two and this table here, this small table here? I got guys who are not tie. Like, <laughs> as in, would you not die? You know? I'm not creative. I'm, I'm telling you, trust me. Oh. It die. So, die on the guys who So, in a way, you know, among my chairs, I don't think I'm to get a garage on the bovo with time. You're looking at but this one with the ties, I want it, it, and it's comfy and it's, it's just a ball, yeah. So it's just like these guys are creative, they are creative. so yeah. I got the tie and um, a bit of um, Zidina, not just Zidina, you know, like Gubu, yeah, oh. recycling. You know, these guys are so incredible. So creative, man. And, uh, and, uh, <laughs> and this table is written the Ola 7 podcast show. Yeah. I just love it, man. Tonyo Takura, Shonai. Shona Prince or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So big shout out to Peer Hearts Art and Craft. So you guys can place, you can place an order. Yeah. Uh, probably you want a couch or a bedroom, you know, madam. You know, Magambo Garaji, but I'm before before sleeping. <laughs> before sleeping, yes, I say that. So guys, thank you so much. Until next time. Bye bye. It's the little things that make us giants in our industry. 
we put in that extra mile of service so your car can go that extra mile of performance. Our aim is to make our stopovers feel like home. Giant Petroleum. Limitless Energy. Looking for a comfortable getaway? A place to relax and enjoy the finer things in life? Or simply a holiday home out of your city, equipped within a safe, secure neighborhood, with running water, electricity, and a beautiful place to lay your head with satellite entertainment and an outdoor garden to relax? Pamusha is your place, your getaway, your home away from home. Contact Jada on plus two six three. 771-798-415 or plus 263-777-439-698 Pamusha Your place Your home